So, um, I decided I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna enjoy my morning before I go to work. And I went to Walmart yesterday because I needed a new patch kit. And I was like, you know what? Somebody had opened this pack up. It had a little bit of the stuff I needed, but not everything. So I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna get that patch kit. Word of the day, irony. Flat tire. Flat tire. Nice nail. Irony, word of the day. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to talk about um, what I keep on my Red Rover uh, emergency kit. This is, this part of, I have two emergency kits on the Red Rover. Uh, the emergency kit that I'm gonna speak of today is my roadside assistance bag. Uh, this is a bag, it's the Be Soul. Picked this up on Amazon for probably seven bucks. Uh, so far, the bag is, it's been holding up really well um, on the trips that I have taken it on. Uh, doesn't seem like any stitching is loose so far and it hasn't fallen apart. So um, for seven bucks, it, it, it's pretty much it's uh, it's a pretty good deal so far on it. But diving into this bag, um, I have my patch kit and my pump. I try to keep things. It's uh, this is the only thing I really keep together because these parts are so small and I want to keep them uh, kind of clean. Uh, so this is uh, my Briskmore pump. It's a universal pump. Um, it's a CO2 pump, um, but it will do uh, both valves. So without interchanging uh, anything with them, you could just screw it on to both valves, uh, press the valve or the other, and it's good to go. Lock it in, open the valve, uh, op yeah, open the valve, good to go there. I keep four of these um, 25 gram, um, I keep five, I keep four of these 25 gram, oh, 25 grammers in a patch kit. Uh, this is, uh, what, how many pieces is this? I think this is maybe a 10 piece patch kit in here, maybe a little more. Uh, this particular one, I know I, I threw in more patches, some from my old patch kit, has one glue tube and some sandpaper to rough it up. So that's, that, that's my pumping system. Next, I have two of the wrenches that came with the RAV Rover. Uh, these two are, uh, this one takes care of uh, the nuts for the wheels. This one takes care of pedals if I need to do adjustments, tighten my pedals uh, as, as need be. Um, bike tool, tire tools. I picked these up at Walmart. I didn't spend a whole lot on these. Uh, I've seen some that are somewhat expensive. Uh, these particular ones, uh, I probably these probably cost like three bucks at at Walmart, and I don't know if they will do a better or worse job than the ones you can find for ten or more dollars. Uh, but this was a set of two, and I have taken my wheels, my tires off the rim uh, a few times, uh, one for a flat tire and once for a flat tire, once. Uh, to put tire liners in the in in between the tire and the inner tube, um, and I've used them both times, and they work as uh, tire tools are supposed to. This is the last piece in here. This is my Crank Brother multi-tool. 
I'll go more in depth. Well, I can kind of go in depth a little bit here. Uh, this is this tool will pretty much take care of everything that you will need on your bike. It has Allen key. It has Allen keys. It has star keys. And it also has um, Phillips flat head screwdrivers on here along with a chain tool. Um, that is the extent of this roadside kit. And right around, uh, besides the tool that came with everything, uh, besides the tools that came with the bike, I want to say I put this kit together for... I want to say it's about a $50 kit. I'll uh, I'll put a link to everything that I have in here so you can kind of add it up. Uh, Amazon is kind of like the stock market, day to day, up and down, and it's the holiday season, so some of this stuff may be cheaper than what I purchased it for uh, months ago. Thanks for joining me on this episode. Like, subscribe, leave a comment below. Uh, Let's, let's talk about uh, the things that you have in your pack and things that you think I should add to mine. I know that I need to get an inner tube and I haven't done that yet. Uh, so that's the only thing that I'm really missing. But I have the basics right now. Uh, the reason why I don't have an inner tube yet. Um, one, I have tire liners. Not that that's, a, a, that's not going to uh, save me from every situation. But um, I am also thinking about changing the juggernaut tires that came with the bike with to something different. But I'm not quite sure what I'm going to change it to and what I need to change the inner tube when I do it. So that's why I haven't purchased one yet. But let's talk about what you have and what do you think I should be looking at it. give me some tire suggestions i really I'm, i need a little bit of help um fat bikes or is a new thing to me and i'm still learning and i'd like to learn from you see you in the next one